Different kind of demolition derby today on Staten Island. Oh. Some might call that the sweet sound of justice. The crunching of more than 200 illegal mopeds and scooters seized in New York City this year. And there's more to come, according to the NYPD. This after launching a new initiative today to confiscate illegal vehicles. Call it the summer scooter crackdown. This after a man on a scooter shot two police officers in Queens. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman. Crushing crime literally at the Fresh Kills landfill on Staten Island as the city destroys more than 200 illegal mopeds and scooters. We know that many of these scooters that are used legally are used part of the commerce in our city, but far too many are illegal, unregistered, should not be on our street. Mayor Adams and the NYPD announced new summer enforcement efforts and checkpoints to seize illegal motorized scooters, mopeds, bikes, ATVs, and other unregistered vehicles from city streets. Data shows in 2023, the NYPD confiscated more than 18,000 of these illegal vehicles, the highest in city history, and a 128% increase from 2022. Officials say that not only are these vehicles illegal or unregistered, but they're also used often in the committing of crimes. There's murderers on these bikes. There are shooters on these bikes, robbers on these bikes, reckless drivers putting our public at peril. One example happened just this week. 19-year-old Bernardo Raul Castromata was arraigned this morning after allegedly shooting two police officers in East Elmhurst. Police say it happened after they were addressing a robbery pattern and tried to pull over the suspect on a scooter headed the wrong way. We are very, very fortunate that our cops are alive and they're recovering right now. But because of this and many other public safety concerns, we take this issue very seriously. So now, as these illegal vehicles get crushed, the city hopes so too do plans to commit more crime.